I had a delivery last week uh, and I'd like to show you the contents of it. Now, I would say this isn't going to be a technical video and it's definitely not going to be an unboxing. However, this product is an interesting product and I think you'll find it interesting too. So it's a little analyzer. It's called a Nano VNA and basically it tests your antennas amongst a load of other things, which I'm not going to go into. I think most people will use this device simply for testing antennas for resonance tuning and SWR. So there you go. Let's get into it and see how it works. Having turned the VNA on, uh, because it is battery powered and it's also rechargeable, the first thing we have to do is set the frequency range that we want to sweep. Now, for this example, I'm going to be sweeping my cobweb. So I'm going to go from something like 13 megahertz up to something like 30 megahertz because that will basically include um, the five bands that it covers. As you can see, it's touchscreen and I'm simply using a ballpoint pen uh, without the biro sticking out. Lots of menus, uh, you can configure it exactly how you want, including the frequency of the sweep, the scale, um, the format of the different graphs that are displayed. I've chosen SWR. You can also have Smith chart and phase and all that kind of stuff on here. So this is displaying the SWR dips and you can change the scale so it's a more readable scale. Um, as you can see, there's the five dips of the cobweb. Uh, reading from uh, left to right is 20 megahertz, 17, 15, 12 and 10. And as you can see, there's a little jog shuttle control on the top where my finger is. And you can move the cursor along and just up here you can see the frequency and here you can see the SWR and that corresponds to where this cursor is. So as you move it along you'll see that the frequency will change and also the SWR will change. So this dip here is 20 meters so 14.2 something I think was uh, the, the prime point and then coming back down to 17 meters slap bang in the middle of the band you'll see is the biggest dip 17.18.1 megahertz there you go and then the next dip would be for 15 meters and the next dip for 12 and 10. so that's basically how it works if you're going to be using it in your hand now this isn't the most robust device so i don't think i'll be taking this out of the house very often However, it's ideal for dry, clean conditions um, and also in the house. However, there's another bonus because you can also attach this to your computer and use it in software. So let's take a look at that. Right, so I've just loaded up a piece of software on my PC, which is a free piece of software that you can download easily. It's called Nano VNA Saver. And I've also connected the Nano VNA to my PC using a USB cable. Now what this allows us to do is perform all of the, the tests and the checks that we would do just using the small screen, the touch sensitive screen. But this time we can actually do it from the PC. So let's go ahead and scan. So it's found that it's on COM14. And let's connect to the device. And this will take the settings that we had already set in it from the previous scan that we did. And as you'll see, okay, so we can see lots and lots of things here. This isn't meant to be an instructional video on how to use this software or how to use the Nano VNA. What this is meant to be is just a bit of a, a taster just to show you, number one, how easy it is, and number two, how useful it is. There's loads of really good videos out there that are more technical than this. Um, so yeah, it, it's just meant to be a bit of a taster. So, okay, so as you can see at the top of the screen here, um, 13 megahertz to 30 megahertz is the sweep. Um, now this is doing it in, in one segment, which is 170 kilohertz steps. So if I show you here, that's a step, okay? Now that's fine, but you can make it tighter. Um, you can make it more accurate. So if we wanted it to be uh, like a third of that, so this is now in 56 kilohertz steps, 
that will just rescan it and you'll see the graph um, form. Um, so now we've got the ability, instead of it being uh, 156 K steps, now we've got it the, the ability to be uh, a lot smaller increments so we can be a lot more accurate. Um, what can I show you? Right, let's just go down here to the display setup. We can turn on dark mode if you want, okay? That may allow us to see it easier or it may not. We can change the colour of the actual sweep graph. So, for instance, there it is green. And that would look quite good if it was in a dark mode, okay? Um, let's just change that back because uh, let's put it on black and let's turn off dark mode. Um, okay, so that's nice and easy to see. Uh, we don't have to see the lines. We can just literally see the plots. I like to see the lines because it makes it easier. Uh, what else can I show you? Um, at the moment, this is set up only to show the VSWR, um, but we've got the ability to display six different um, plots down here. So, for instance, you could have it displaying also the return loss as well, side by side. And in addition to that, we could have it displaying uh, uh, the, um, the, po the polar plot, okay, um, or even the Smith chart. Um, there you go. So you can decide how you want it to look. However, I think most of us that are going to use this, if you're anything like me, you're literally going to have it on VSWR and that's it. So in its most simple state, it can look like that. Um, now, these horizontal lines, I've put these on here because I, again, like it to show me kind of key steps in terms of VSWR. So this is um, 1.5 to 1, this is 2 to 1, and this is 3 to 1, okay? And you turn those on here, so I've added those myself. The bands, um, again, I've got the bands displayed on here. Let's just change the colour so you can see it. So this defines the bands in the UK but again you can actually change that and you can change the the upper and lower part of each band so you've got to freedom to do that but very easily you can actually see that there's the curve and my cobweb on 14 megahertz which is 20 meters is well mm, well within less than 2.0 to 1 um, ratio of SWR so I'm quite happy with that if I want to see what I'm using at the moment is you can probably see here on the screen this is the little marker and I'm using the uh, left and right arrows to go down but here I am down here just above 2.0 to 1 SWR but um, if I wanted to actually see what that was I could click here show data and then this one here, marker one, which is this red one, I can very easily see that where I am at the moment, which is 14.0132 megahertz, the SWR is 2.194 to 1. If I go across a bit, okay, so now I'm on 14.0695, 1.77. Okay, and again, there's there's the low point. 1.238 to 1 is 14.1821 megahertz. Okay, so we can see that uh, 20 meters is a good band for my cobweb. Let's carry on going down, all the way down to 17. Okay, so there's the, uh, the drop at 17, which is 1.219 to 1 at 18.122 five megahertz so there you go and uh, further along this is 15 meters and again that's uh, that's perfect i can see that the the drop there is 1.453 to 1 at 21.162 megahertz the only one that potentially needs a little bit of help um is 12 meters uh but in saying that, it's all below 3 to 1. And most of it, yeah, most of it is below 2 to 1. So no great problem there. 
and and what we can do using the mouse wheel we can zoom into that so here we are just looking at the the 12 meter band so here's a slightly different view i've just changed a few things to make it easier for you to see but um i've made the line a little bit thicker anyway as i say i just want to show you how easy it is to work um brilliant little device for the money a uh, brilliant piece of software super useful and um yeah i'm i'm enjoying it so i just wanted to share that with you great well i hope you enjoyed that video and if you did please don't forget to press the like button and um maybe you'd also like to tell your friends about it uh any comments that you've got please feel free just pop them in the box below and uh, maybe you'd like to take a look at some of the other videos that I've made over the last few years. Just nip over to the channel and you'll see that there's loads and loads and loads on there um, all about amateur radio. So yeah, please feel free to take a look. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe yeah. and tick that little bell button as well. And that will keep you advised on when new releases come out. Okay, for now, thank you very much for watching and 7-3. Bye-bye.